Hello investors, welcome to another investing episode. In today's episode we're talking about Pineapple Power PLC stock. What a company this is. I believe it is the first or one of the first UK special acquisition companies. Yes, you guessed it, it is in the energy slash EV sector in terms of a new style of battery compliance or that is what it's looking to reverse invest into it is only just listed on the uk stock exchange late in december early january and the share price has sort of ticked along at about three or four p a share until it bolted up to 13 pence a share over the last 48 hours or so and has since retreated back down a little bit lots of potential in this company where if you have a look at the special acquisition companies over in the United States. If this replicates anything like that in terms of raising capital to invest in high potential sectors, then there is serious money to be made on this one. I've done a lot of research into this, so you guys can have a look and make your own minds up, of course. It is highly speculative. It is very, very early on, and it doesn't actually have a target lined up yet, but it is looking at battery cell technology, particularly in the Vandium sector, which I will get onto after the intro. Catch you on the other side. See you there. Hey guys, welcome into the video. So here we are on the landing page for Pineapple Power Corporation PLC. As you can see, over the last five days or so, it has ticked up from four pence, essentially, four, four and a half pence a share, through to a huge 13.3 pence a share, and then has since retreated back down to 10 pence 77. This company is one of the first special acquisition companies here in the UK that I am aware of and it is in a hot sector as I've already mentioned the renewable energy sector essentially which is garnering a lot of interest from investors right now. So the company recently listed on the UK stock market is a cash shell company ticker is pnpl if i didn't mention that earlier they're aiming to work in the clean energy investment sector the company was registered as a plc way back in 2016 but it has taken quite a while for the company to come through and form this special purpose acquisition company the directors are very experienced in the sector highly qualified along their sector at raising capital all the way through so we've got claudio morandi there as the director and then we've got numerous others all the way through andrew holland that have all operated in the sector and are experts at raising capital. So if we move through into some of the shareholder information, as I said, this company has only been listed on the stock exchange for a short amount of time. And on the 23rd of December, 2020, 57.3 million shares went on the stock market for one pence each. Obviously there's been a little bit of a rise since then. There are no securities held by Treasury shares. The founding shareholders have voluntarily restricted their holdings to 13.5 million shares for two years or until a um, merger is closed with a target company. Now, the exciting stuff around this is the company is looking to invest and acquire clean energy companies. And this is some of the news articles that I've found around it at the moment. So we all know that low carbon is the way forward. Ele um, EV cars are the way forward. Low carbon is where the company, it, where the countries of the world are going. So you've got Joe Biden in office in the United States, the European Union, and even here, Boris Johnson, all working towards zero carbon and bringing down our carbon footprint, essentially. And Pineapple Power aims to essentially acquire or invest into a company that's going to take advantage of flow batteries, which is going to be using, taking hold of power from solar panels, wind turbines, that sort of thing, and holding on through Vandium batteries to that power for a lot longer. Lithium iron doesn't last as long as Vandium power batteries do. It is early technology. It's not as established as lithium obviously but this is a very much 
new way of doing things and there is a way forward towards Vandium that companies are now looking into and the first projects are actually underway over in the um, over in China which is under construction and 800 megawatt hours Vandium battery is under construction in China and the United States will be looking into that as well. The UK government also very recently uh, essentially brought down barriers to battery power here in the UK, paving the way for more batteries to be attached to the grid. So the Armchair Trader has said that the it, it's listed as a cash shell on the stock exchange and it initially raised about one and a half million pounds with its initial funding, have an initial capital raise, but then obviously since then the share price is likely to go up. They are targeting acquisitions in the clean energy sector as we've already seen and there's obviously increasing electric and political support for clean energy technology. A quick search on Twitter revealed that Pineapple Power does have its own Twitter page and the their last post is going on about targeting the Vandium sector and essentially but bringing out a Vandium battery for the clean energy market. And then going backwards from there, we can see some of the extra posts that they have done since then. Vandium flow batteries, you can get on the article there. It's on Seeking Alpha if you wanted to click through to that. And then lastly, there is momentum building behind this transition to Vanadium. It's going to take a little while as with all things, but it does take high potential and there's a significant return for investors to be made here in the transition from lithium ion batteries through to vanadium or at least vanadium in some instances where you can get hold of where you can get hold of these and have the space for these batteries so they retain their power for a lot longer highly experimental there isn't a whole lot of information out there but it does have a lot of potential and at least there are products out there that do exist obviously with it being early days with this company there isn't a whole lot of information around i had to work quite hard to get hold of the information that i found there However, I do believe the company has got a lot of potential. It has got a lot of tailwinds with it because everybody's going low carbon at the moment and the clean energy sector is booming. So it's going to get the, some, the support that it needs going forward to at least start building and invest itself into vanadium companies or a vanadium battery cell producing company very early days yet and a very speculative play to say the least so if you are investing in this one please do your own due diligence and at least have a look at some stuff yourself it is a highly speculative play but there could be significant money to be made i mean a lot of people have made hundreds of percent return already just from getting in from when it was 5p a share back over at christmas I hope you've enjoyed this video today guys it's been absolutely fantastic digging into these companies and bringing up whatever information i can and serving it to you guys absolute pleasure as always if you could see your way to smashing the like button that'd be fantastic and i'll see you in the next investing episode catch you there